This is blood. And this is oxygen. Blood is very good at carrying oxygen. This is the brain. The brain needs oxygen to survive. Without it, the brain will die. In order to keep the brain alive, blood is continuously flowing through small tubes called vessels supplying oxygen to the brain. In sickle cell disease, blood is altered and not as good at carrying oxygen as normal blood. When sickle blood drops oxygen, blood can become sticky and rigid, often taking the shape of a sickle. This sickle blood has trouble traveling through the smaller vessels and can block or occlude the blood behind it. The blood occlusion results in a lack of oxygen flow, which causes brain to infarct, a fancy word for dye. This process is known as stroke. This is a blood doctor, or a hematologist. His job is to make sure blood is flowing smoothly and brain is healthy and strong. He noticed that sickle blood sometimes moves very fast. He guessed that sickle blood probably moves very fast right before it stops. By replacing sickle blood with healthy blood, maybe the hematologist can prevent strokes. This blood replacement is called transfusion. The hematologist measured brain blood velocity using an ultrasound technique known as transcranial Doppler, or TCD. TCD uses high frequency sound waves to clock the speed of moving blood similar to how a police officer uses radar to detect speeding vehicles. Using TCD, the hematologist was able to identify brains with dangerously high blood velocities of 200 centimeters per second or higher. He separated dangerously high blood velocity brains into two groups. One was given transfusion therapy, the other wasn't. The hematologist found that the transfused group was over 90% less likely to develop stroke. This study is known as the Stroke Prevention Trial in Sickle Cell Disease, or STOP trial. The findings of the STOP trial were so profound that the study was ended early and now all patients with dangerously high blood velocities measured by TCD are placed on chronic transfusion therapy to prevent stroke.